it is a, it is a deliberate decision. Before the the the, the fire of God rested on them, there was an instruction saying, "Tarry ye in Jerusalem." The the tarry it, it, it doesn't just end in this meeting, no. Yeah? He said, "Tarry ye in Jerusalem." What did the next person until? So the effect that your your prayer carries power is until the manifestation of that thing comes into place. So, even if you you have that, that one person in your family that is stubborn and then you are praying for the person, it's as if the more you are praying the person is getting worse. There's, a, there, there's an instruction for you. It's a tarry until until you see the manifestation of Jesus in the life of that person. Don't stop. See, what, what Satan does to us is that when, when, when we sit upon a matter, then we are praying over that matter. And then he's beginning to see that there is about to be a breaking or an opening. He brings another distraction. So, this year, don't, don't, don't shift focus. Don't shift focus. If you if you if, if the Lord place a body in your heart, stay over that body until uh, even if that body will carry you for six months, stay until the reason why uh, 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 we some of us have not really experienced the kind of shift we are looking for is, is that we pray half prayer. The thing that looks like manifestation to you is not what God is seeing. And He says, stay, stay, stay. Tarry. So, to, to some persons in this place, some of us came to receive grace. We came to what? Receive grace. Grace that we will, we will take back to our Jerusalem. Tarry in Jerusalem. If the Bible was speaking in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, it said, eh, and you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You will witness we are first in your Jerusalem. Some of us, your Jerusalem, eh, Kanu is too big for your Jerusalem. Your Jerusalem is your family. You can use your authority to begin to change the looks of things in your family. So you will first witness where in your Jerusalem. So if you if you have not uh, conquered the battle of your Jerusalem, do not expect a Samaria. So we have come tonight to gather capacity. I am I am not I, I am not here to beg anybody to pray. I came to pray. I came to pray. I came to pray. Because if our generation must stand still to listen to us, then we must carry something. I have made a declaration in my spirit. I say, wherever we appear, then we see light. Then we see light. So, to some of you in, in, in fashion life, do not be surprised if, if people begin to sew the style that you wear. You will witness. You will witness. You will witness. So we are still going to lift up our voice. Some of you, you will not understand the effect of what you are doing here. When I came in, I saw persons praying. You are gathering capacity. It's not till a special moment or till the end of the meeting where uh, somebody will sing a song and then Jesus will just fall. Uh, he started doing something from the beginning of the service. I felt it when I entered. So don't be carried away. So right there where you are standing, you will lift up your voice and say, Lord, I receive grace tonight. I receive grace tonight. Mm. We may decide to receive grace for January. 
about Jesus who is so powerful and yet do not carry power it will be a shame to the name of Jesus now that we know that Jesus raised the dead souls were won and then we speak about this Jesus who is so powerful and yet without power so that is why I ask that tonight we lift up our voice and say, Lord, find the expression through my life. Find the expression through my people. <laughs>
Agenda. I want us to pray for Nigeria. I don't.